Uh, I'm here. Prepare uh, maybe for competitively. I think Wind Ranger, Broodmother, possibly. Yeah, I'm Broodmother specialist. You know, I, you know, I want to brag about it because uh, you people would be disgusted. Uh, but, uh, and back in the days, you know, when you needed to actually be good at the hero, like the hero didn't have all these new abilities. But yeah, I go back to the Black and his hero pool. I still remember watching my boy Black, you know, play some TB, uh, dumpstering kids. Like, it, it was legendary. Ooh, that's a long time to roast him. And, you know. Nah, my... that was a compliment. Yeah, like... I, I, don't, I don't know what the, the roasting was. But the compliment, I, that was the first event I ever attended, was uh, the one Black one with Vici, ESO One New York, back in 2014. Wait, Black one? A tournament? Seconds to it was a rare sight. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was always there, you know. He was always up there, but uh, very close to winning. Very experienced player. Has a cool name, but let's focus on this one. Now, do not climb that high ground. It could potentially be a mistake. <laughs> might go over on the high ground. That's exactly what they do. Faith Beyond in some trouble. Kaka hits hard. Second begins. highest base damage. Shadow Shaman, though. Back away from Faith Beyond. The bounty runes will be two apiece. So mid Tiny, glad this is not a position for Tiny. Me too. We've seen uh, our fair share of position for Tinies, which did not work out. Combo got nerfed. And um, all other aspects for Tiny got buffed as a carry, as a mid laner. So no surprise that he is played as those positions. Sven, however... You know, this hero received some of the buffs as well. I feel the hero right now is in a good state, especially if you can buff him up. We've seen what Sven plus Elder Titan can do once that aura is maxed out. Now the damage can hurt. We've seen him just clean up heroes with like two or three shots. It'll be interesting to see how it goes for Ame on this Sven. We'll see. Back to that panel. Hold on. Fly, fly. Getting low. Fairy fire up top. Infinite shot. Trying to hold it back, but... Fly, fly. Going down to face beyond. And that is first blood here for LGD. I don't think Thrall should die. Like, level one. I was watching the bottom lane. Legion commander with the overwhelming odds and the stroke of fate. Like, cooking to kill an innocent. I don't know what nice. happened there. If we can see the replay, that'd be cool. Because if you ask me 10 out of 10 times, I would say, nope, he can't die level 1. Unfortunately, he has died. And now Troll has to be pretty careful in lane. I'm interested to see how JC's going to do on this Doom. We've already seen two Doom games. Get the replay on the uh, bottom kill on the tail end of that. Salves pop. Yeah, so we've seen a couple Doom games, and I'm interested to see if the build is different. We've seen the Midas Devour combo to get quickly into those items. We've seen, I think, what, Hood first item in the last Doom game. Maybe a little bit less of a farming oriented build with two other greedier heroes on the map. In my opinion, it's. Uh... Not necessary to get it. He gets the best creep. Like, this just ruins the game. Like, he got very lucky. He has the Purge, which costs 120 mana. It's costy, you know, but he can dispel the Astral Spirit. Makes E.T.'s lane pretty unplayable. He can dispel the Vorcry on top of it. So I want to see... What, what is Kaka building? I would not mind seeing, like, a Bassy. I think this Dying item is extremely is good. Attack. It got nerfed slightly in the previous patch but uh, as a position four it feels so good to have especially in this situation where it's so mana costly 120 but uh, yeah i would definitely love to see bassy on shadow shaman yeah right now he's just got boots and uh well he used that last tango he'll go to stack this the double stack and he's got it Elder Titan does spot it up towards top, though. They've got the Ink Swell as well as the Stroke of Fate. They're also after go going after nothing to say. You know, looking to get this kill. Loser Orb over with the impetus shots. One more right click down goes nothing Radiant's to say. Middle tower is under attack. So diving the tier two to get that Dyer's kill. Fly Fly ends up surviving attack. ultimately. Got a lot of pressure. <laughs> Nicely done. And Pearl on the top lane, getting very close to dying again. Immense amount of pressure. 
Still doing uh, decently in terms of CS, but he needs someone to come with the healing self. There is Enchantress using the courier, being that healing self, something that you need to do quite a lot as a position five. And he's gonna pull the lane back as well. Here in the pro games, yes. In my pubs, feels like a waste of gold to me to bring my carry selves. Yeah, because he's not gonna carry anyway, so no point in investing gold. Exactly. In I just need that concede button. Yeah, two to one lead for IG. Sweep hits through on to Emo. And it'll be one water room for Emo, the other water room bottled up by nothing to say. A lot of heroes who had showed up over towards mid. Things just quieting down a little bit. Not a lot of aggression here in the bottom lane. We've seen a lot of pressure up towards top. And again, they're gonna go for fly fly, but now Big Beyond, he's the one who slows via the enchant to bring over Kaka to try and get this kill. Can he get in range? He's one, more, one more shot, and there it is. Fly Fly getting revenge on Faith Beyond. And that's gonna feel good. That brought over the Shadow Shaman, but Doom. Good they understanding that. of Shaman to just completely bail the bottom lane. Doom cannot be killed. He has a decent strength gain. Three po by decent, I mean the pretty high 3.7 level. And now walking towards the face boots. Has a wind lace to be able to outrun the opponents. Like Sven does not want to buy boots of speed so he understands like if, even if they try to go for me also Sven does not want to put the well, an extra point in a storm hammer so he's all about I'm gonna get the levels and go back to jungle and farm up a rotating one extra hero so they could get a kill with that yeah ink swell with the storm hammer JT scorch earth trying to run it pops he's stunned but still got a decent amount of health he'll avoid the sweep which was started up by Y Stroke of Fate once again for the slow, and one more right click coming in for the Grim Stroke for Jin Q. He buys out of the phase boots before he dies. If he had the phase boots there with the carrier, he lives, he can just easily go through the heroes with the phase movement. Now he's got the phase boots and Avalanche toss onto the Enchantress, doing a lot of damage on the Holly. It does have the Nature's Attendance at level 1. We've seen a lot of these Enchantresses find the Enchant. Sometimes even leave one on the Impetus and that's all. We've got the Shackle on the GQ. That'll lead to a kill on the Grimstroke with three heroes mid for the side of IG. A TP over from Y to refill the bottle of nothing to say. Also forcing the Glyph out and keeping the Catapult alive. So if there's going to be some decent damage. Down to this tier 1 tower on a mid lane to go back to the Enchanted Talk. Enchanted is just too good. Like the extra creep uh, damage that you get from it, the push potential, you can just farm the lane with it. And the slow one that maxed out, the hero slow is 6 seconds. Plus it's also a dispel mechanic, so against the Green Stroke it's gonna be good. Against ED Spirit, Vorcry, like you name it. Chance the Wild Wing. This is Sven trying to farm back in the jungle. Still sitting towards the top of the net worth. Wild Wing. Just messing with Ame here. A couple impetus shots. Doing a decent amount of damage. Also a shackle coming out under the Grim Structure. GQ's here with the rest of the team, but they've got the Hex and Inkswell will pop, so they've got Ali in a little bit of trouble, especially with that sweep. They'll use that first duel and get a victory here for Faith Beyond. Last time Jin-Q played Grimstroke, he decided to get first item Ags. It's hard to execute. Like, you still need to be close. This hero is, in my opinion, one of the best ones because his toolkit is just too good. You have silence, you have stun, you have wave clear, slow, leash mechanic. I don't think it gets better than this. It's just you need to be very close to the fire if you don't have any kind of uh, range items. So, shackle. shackle mid. Elder Chain in trouble once again. They've got the Hex, and he's trying to run with the Invis room, but under a sentry, which will be pinged out. JT gets credit for the kill on to Y. So, yeah, I think this time around, Lens into Ag could be better, especially if you find Philosopher's Stone. Aghanim Scepter is always going to be great against Strong. The stronger it gets, the stronger your illusion gets. Pretty simple stuff. Still in. 
Dream Coil and the Shackle. So that's a Thunderclap coming through out of the Tiny. The Avalanche hits out of both Emo as well as Kaka. They land the sweep onto this puck. So aggression there from IG that doesn't pay out. And he's still going to have a decent timing on this Blink Dagger. Considering he's not involved in any of the kills, died once. Not going for the face boots, instead decides to go for the Blink Dagger first. These heroes are very burstable, so his combo is going to be maxed out once he has that Blink Dagger. So Shaman plus Enchantress, they need to be careful. These are low HP heroes. Same goes for Puck, like he misuses the shift. Plus one hero can be easily bursted down. So the Blink Dagger coming out quickly could be a problem for IG. Although that being said, JT, he's getting close on a Blink Dagger of his own. So we'll see if the aggression even comes out from the side of IG. Super Speedy, he has these boots, casual, wind lace, and also faded brooch on top of it. So he's just zooming in and out of the fights. That's speed. He's playing a little bit of uh, speed gaming. Doing his thing. You love action. speed. You're the speedy caster. I do like the speed. I like speed gaming as well. Once upon a time. Room gonna be tough. Although he's full HP, full mana, but a lot of value. Maybe at this point you would want to get something else, but uh, it's Lord Gaben's choice at the end attack. of the day. He's the one controlling the runes, Die. saying what's gonna spawn. Sits in his office all yeah. day. He, like he's got games up on the computer. He's like, ah, reach. Not games. He's playing Dota. He's playing Sanking in his office and uh, just controlling the runes. Does he play Sanking? Do you think? I think it's more of an offlane. He's doing it right. Inkswell Avalanche toss all through on Emo. Inkswell will pop. They get a quick kill onto the puck. No duel, but uh, blink reveal. They get a kill. And now he can go back to that phase boots. We've seen what the mid safe lane tinies can do when they get this good timing on a blink dagger, start being more active. Right now, why? Just sitting at the bottom lane. Decent level, or level 6, 11 minutes in, as a position 5. And he's the one who can stop the push. He puts an extra point in the echo stomp. Seen different builds on EP in terms of skill build, where a lot of EPs just prioritize getting that spirit, but the. Maybe this time, because he's playing in the Enchantress, it would be better Radiant's if he just gets the Aura, maxes out the Echo Stomp, then goes back to Aura. Yeah, we well, at least at this point normally see a value point in the Aura. But not even... No, it, it's fine. Like, early on, you don't get too much value out of it. Anyway, I mean, Radiant it's 40%. It's, it's a lot, but Radiant's you want to have tower. at least two points in natural... Yeah, he's just gonna get blown up. Doom, and they get the kill on Ollie, but now, ooh, avoid the sweep, so JT can continue with this to try and get the kill here onto the Tiny. He's getting there, maybe they can get the deny, the soul bind is in, they've got the shackle out, that's through the Jin Q. They've got the silence, they'll get the kill, and Tiny surviving with 50 health. Press the attack, level 3, keeping him alive there. Some extra regeneration coming from the tower as well. Jin Q. Kind of gives away Dyer's his life top tower just to top. save his carry. Carry slash mid. Oh, mighty money. I'm trying to do the damage as Emo is dead again here to nothing to say. Emo's game is getting shut down slowly Dyer's but surely. And under a couple of kills onto this puck where you start to worry. Yeah, Emo, he's fourth on the net worth. But that can really drop out quick. <laughs> You do not want to make this guy angry. Like, you do not tip, you do not all chat, you do not over gank him, because we've seen, seen lead. exactly, we've seen what he can do. You start to take a 2 nothing lead and you close in on winning game three. That's when you should fear emo the most. <laughs> that blink dagger after finishing off that witch blade, ulti used by the troll to take these ancients. Got the Maelstrom, he's going into the BKB next. Wants to be able to fight earlier on with the team, understands that Sven will come online faster, has that built-in cleave, bottom lane, JT's just gotta get uh, deleted. After picking up that Blink Dagger, Tiny 
is all over the place. He's been getting more than four out of seven kills, which is pretty nice, considering the start. Like, he was 0, 1, and 0, and now picking up the face boots, going into Echo Saber. This is just a standard build. Like, for certain things, you know, I'm all about being innovative, adapting to situations. But this time around, like, especially for the mid tiny, like, that Echo Saber just gives you so much damage. Like, I don't think you want to go for any shenanigans. He's getting a four stab. You want to be able to scale, you know? Yeah. Got strength fused mid. They're going to try and get a two on the tower in this lane. They've got Ame already a level 13. And they'll take this tower. No contest. They gave up the top tier one for it. Still IG with a 1k lead, even though Dyer's the uh, spend is top of the net worth. It just shows the split there on the next three fours, all being IG, as well as Shadow Shaman leading the supports. Radiant Oscar. Shaman has lens done. We've seen in season one in during the major what shamans can do and uh, once you have your spells maxed out especially the hex and shackles like you just become a very annoying hero to play into even though they have way of dispelling things so legion commander press the attack maxed out not even a single point in moment of courage i can get behind that he was laning into troll so not too much value at all coil coil hex ink swell popping they'll get the kill on the jing you though Bring all their heroes over to get this done, and Dyer's structure. You know, it's it's just a grip stroke dying. And he's just hoping that for all his sacrifices, a philosophy stone drops. Stormhammer sleep. God strength for 27. Needs to be a bit careful. This troll deals uh, a lot of damage, but since they have no coil, they back off. They go back to farming the jungle, troll. If they make some stacks happening, he's gonna have that BKB done in the next uh, two and a half, three minutes. Storm Hammer onto Ollie. The right clicks, are they gonna be enough with the unshootable? He does end up dying, but they don't get the dual damage. Has Chip West, that helps returning some of the damage going into Pipe, it seems. Just wants to be able to mitigate the damage output. From mostly Puck, Shaman, Radiance like even Maelstrom procs. Those are magical. Hex onto the Tiny Earth Splitter coming through Avalanche Toss. Down goes Kaka, but they've got the Jumon and nothing to say for the second time. This time they want to kill him. But is there anybody here? Fly Fly, he wraps around. He's got the root. Does he have the damage? The Dream Coil is also dropped a little bit north of where they're killing. Nothing to say. That's out onto the Elder Titan. Should have themselves a second. They'll kill Y, they've taken two, they're up 2k, and IG starting to get the ball rolling. Flyfly Fly knows exactly when to use the root at the start, and then keeps rooting him. It's maxed out, so higher chances, 20%, 1 out of 5. And Tiny gave away a lot of gold. The big streak, he's also high level, level 12 already. Gonna talk about send items. Mask of Madness done. S and Y for a bit of status resistance, which is really nice against Shaman, so those Shackles Hexes will not last as long. And now going into BKB, because they have no abilities that go through magic immunity other than Duel. And Puck eventually will get that Aghanim Scepter, Philosopher Stone, double fill it dropped. Ooh. I have not seen this in a long time. Like, at the same time. Supports everywhere just felt a shift in the force. That is the Philosopher Stone. Grimstroke already took it. He's ready to go. It just needs a curve. He's got shard queued up. Okay. Shard axe. You can see it. Because it's another way of dispelling. It's great against silences. Great against shaman. And they are in rush. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, they can't do anything about it. Radio on cooldown. Okay, not gonna take this fight. Troll, 300 gold off his BKB. And Nemo going box. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay. Ink swell. This is a brace and spins here. That's enough, Jim Q. I'll take the kill from here. I got it. Ami um, with a storm hammer and a couple right clicks is more than enough to take out Kaka. Yep. Ollie is keeping Philosopher's Stone. 
think you just give that to Shaman. Shaman really loves to have it because Enchanter, she deals some right click damage in the team fights. It's only level one impetus, but uh, yeah, definitely Shaman should keep it, especially since this hero really scales with the items. I see Blink Dagger BKB queued up. I really like that. Etherland's already done. BKB. I did not see that, you know, I saw it on the big screen, on the preview monitor, on my monitor, I'm like, this could potentially be a miss, I'd better click on someone else. We can replay it, maybe? No need, no need, I'm, yeah, I know what happened, there's no need to put some extra salt lemon juice in the wound. That stinks. Basher next for the troll. Pipe for the Legion going into the shard. No surprise that shard is very strong. Dyer's got this Aegis to work with. Kaka comes over. They've got the Hex as well as the but they could potentially turn things around. There is still Green Coil available in a couple of seconds. Troll has ulti, but uh, better not to risk it. Nice war trap coming out from uh, Kaka. Just kept him alive, uh, kept him inside the wards for a very long time. But the spell mechanic uh, super strong. He gets a uh, double stun. The Asian commander was so ready for it. Double storm hammer, avalanche toss. He got 40 damage from that one. That feels great. Double duel is good. It's, you know, not necessarily you don't need to win both duels. It's just about keeping them disabled during the duration. The damage is nice. Though. Damage is also, yeah. <laughs> 40 yeah. damage. We've seen in the previous series, previous <laughs> game, you know, 90 damage 15 minutes in, then you could not get any damage at all. Dire using a scan. And then you all of a sudden was at like 200. Or something like that. Still wasn't enough. That's exact. GT and where's the attack? Got that shard already. They're in a the bad spot. Community. This is gonna be a good stomp potentially. Misses everything. Avalanche though and the toss behind them. They've got the duel as well as the Dream Crew down on it. Nothing to say. He might be in a little bit too far. They've got the heat that pops on a two. These heroes can stop the troll as well. The enchanter is only on the run. The right goes in. They get the kill on nothing to say. They are around on the beat. They've got the heat on nothing to say. They've got the god strength as well as the strength coming behind them. Fly fly, he's dead. Ace well, lots of volley. Their focus is on the JT. He'll use that war cry. He'll get with my Y and move forward onto this doom. Meanwhile, behind them, they are still focusing their attention onto the Enchantress because they got the kill on the JT. They'll look over at Ollie. Nature's attendance. It's maxed out, so she's going to be full HP. Inkswell available combo with the tiny should bring her down. Oh, and there it is. Nothing to say, he bought back in that fight. I mean, they won it, but at what cost? Like, Sven is still a beast. Doom very quick on the reaction, just uh, popping it on that tiny after he uses the combo. So who's holding the Philosopher's Stone? Like, actually, no one is holding it on IG. This is a huge mistake. Like, none of the heroes have it. He's holding the... I can't Fairy's believe trinket. what I'm seeing. I'm a big Philly fan. Yeah. A Fairy's Trinket over the Philosopher's Stone. When you want a Blink Dagger and a BKB. Not really. I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, you know, I don't want to say anything because it's IG. I do not want to get question mark, but... Uh, this is a big question mark for me. Question mark? Maybe he just didn't realize. Like, I don't know. And Chan just picked it up, and then she's like, well, I still need to deal damage. Shaman should be able to carry it. And now focusing on other stuff. Maybe. Game sitting at about even. 17 to 11. 
to say he's still continuing to farm up where he can, going into the Dying BKB. It's just that recipe five. gold. Doom is up in eight seconds, so they might want to fight with that. They've got Baby Beyond coming over. There's the press, the attack, the magic immunity, and well, I can just walk out of your dream coil. Until Puck gets Aghanim Scepter. So Puck's itemization should be Lincoln Sphere to be able to deal with those Storm Hammers uh, dual, most likely, and then go back to Aghanim Scepter because it's so good. Like, just keep them in place during their BKBs. Rescue attack is not going to do anything. The call is still going to snap. Nothing to say. Scouting things out. I don't think he saw him. That uh, emo gets... Ooh. I want to stay away from this. Had he not TP'd right there, the ward had spotted Radiant that illusion. He just created so much space. DD on troll, bottle up. Like, they want to take this fight. They have a new basher down on troll. They know that there is no Die. Aegis on oh, Sven. They're using a scan, so they know something is up. They Radiant's place a ward instantly. Radiant structure all the way around, and both these teams don't happen to meet. Fly Fly gets the tower. Starting formerly known as GGG. Team Serenity and Keen. Chinese players, they love to change their nicknames. Yeah, Emo used to be half. Fly obviously had a decent team name. Dyer's top tower. Let's see if they can make a move here on either side. With Doom up especially, I think IG are chomping at the bit to get something to go. It's got to be very scary playing into this Doom in late game. Going into Shiva's after finishing Blink and BKB also has that Hand of Midas. So Refresher after finishing the Shiva's, you will have enough mana to cast both Dooms. So that could be a bit problematic. At one point, because Sven, he doesn't like to buy a Lincoln Sphere. Right. Nader does Legion Commander, Nader does Tiny. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'm just baffled by this non-usage of Philosopher's Stone. Radiant's bottom tower. Sven, very upset it's not used. Very upset. Like, you can hear it in my voice. <laughs> from, one, from 1 to 10, probably Dyer's 15 at the moment. Attack. This is erroneous on all accounts. This is an item that should be in an inventory so at all times. Even when you like don't want to keep it while you're dead, like you can always find value from it. Yeah, it's just free gold. Sven hits level 20, gets the Warcry talent plus 10, so that brings it to 25 casual 25 AOE armor ability that lasts for eight seconds. Can be dispelled by enchanters. Can be dispelled by Doom. Dagger for Kaka. Game's really gone timid. I'm surprised with how aggressive these two teams were playing within the first 20 minutes. Yeah, they kind of stopped waiting for next Roche to respawn, which will spawn in uh, 50 seconds. Tiny also waited to get his. Big item, that's a BKB after finishing the Echo Saber. He also wants to get AC, which Sven already has, so he needs to go for something else. Would he be the first person on the list to get the shard on Radiant right now? Or would you... Well, you only have three options at this point, Elder Titan, Tiny, and Sven. Um, I think maybe prioritize Sven instead. Like eventually they will have like what what's going on with this event? Coming through out of the enchanters, they've got the suit, they have the ink swell, they'll get the kill, press the attack, I've nothing to say. As well as the key getting popped, they've got the soul, the soul line, there's the double oh, duel. It's a double duel once again, fly fly kaka, they both go down. JT, he's on the run. Ollie's here to try and help with BKB being popped by JT. They've got the Dream Coil down onto two. Earth Splitter comes through, doesn't land. Toss, keeping him on JT. And he's got the damage for the triple kill. Ame now dominates. You can't toss the magic immune targets, but you can toss targets to the people who are not, the, who are magic immune. And now back to Roshan. IG, they need to be the one getting the first jump. Because like they need to use the coil, they need to use the doom. We gotta see that one again, all are getting caught. Blown up instantly. Right tiny combo, double kit, once he throws the three. 
might wish to reset. Emo right. keeps that at the ages. Wow, Emo gets in there and now he's going to try and run. That was a hype wow. moment, B Cup. You kind of missed it. You were listening to what I was saying. You know, sometimes you just have to focus on yourself. You know, what is this fool saying? I do not give a damn. Let's just check what the pro players are doing. Oh, he Josh almost gets blown shift. up. Trying to hold on to the Aegis through a faint on time. Neither is the Ink Swell. So they gave it to Tiny because Sven doesn't get to dispel anything. They don't even have a single item that can be dispelled. No Force Staff, no Glimmer Capes yet. Dyer's top no top Ghost Scepters. So they just give it to Tiny. Unlimited three charges. Oh, We're going to see it again. Let's watch yeah, it again. Let's just pretend you Sleep! You're... I can't believe it! The way they ripped! Oh, he snatches the ages! This is crazy! This is all new information to me! My eyes! Oh, oh my god! And we go back to the game. So there Emo, after finishing that Lincoln Sphere, going into Aghanim Scepter. Just wants to be able to keep them disabled during the foil so people can deal damage. Also, I don't think they popped the BKB on Troll in that fight. He's going into Eye of Scotty. A bit more tankiness, maybe I prefer some status resistance instead of it into Satanic. Not sure what, like, Scotty brings. It's a good item to, like, slow them down. He's playing into three melee cores. But, uh, yeah, I think SNY into Satanic might have been a better choice here. Because, like, Lockdown, Avalanche, Stormhammer, Duel, like, it's all gonna last less seconds, less time. Tiny, he has cheese from the last row, so he got the cheese and shard, now going into Daedalus. Just a casual Hyperstone at the moment for some attack speed. Yeah, I think he realized late, you know, that Sven has AC already done. I believe also, he was the one, yeah, who picked up the shard. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I just check on Tiny. There's this blue There's little thingy. Shard. It just says sure shard. Just making sure buy it by himself. You know, maybe I was checking the other heroes just in case. Maybe Emo also snatched the shard. Just got the Aegis. No one holding the Philosopher's Stone yet. Uh, I'll, I'll keep checking. Every five minutes, I'll inform you if somebody decided to pick up that Philosopher's Stone. Bum, bum, bum. Philosopher's Stone Watch 2021 with your host, Take it away. Well, welcome back to the end of the show. Hope you guys were enjoying the free gold in the previous series coming up from the Philosopher's Stone this time around. They do not want to use it, they just want to keep things balanced, even though Philosopher's Stone dropped for both of teams. Only one team is using it. Serpent Woods committed to the top tier two, but here comes Ame to clean him up. Five by nearby, just taking a stack of ancients, looking to finish off the Scotty, which he has. That's the gold. He'll back up and he'll he does grab not have enough gold because Get the math wrong. It's okay. I was off by 20 gold. If he had that philosopher's stone, so there it is. Two oh, big oh, items. reaction. Ags also. He, comes he just out. wanted to be synchronized with the bottom. Yeah, the I mean, items came out at the same time, just like the philosopher's stones. Which are still not being used. Emo holding it on the enchanted quiver, so there's gonna be a lot of damage coming up on him. Which way? Oh, he got that. Whoa, into the duel, and Lincoln's pop. Uh, Alright, he just goes down. They also got the cure over on the Holly. Let that stitch up the back on the Avalanche is rolling the top. The damage is good. They look over, they'll finish off Kaga. Fly by the Ruben and Jinti gone. Ame just out with so much damage. They've got the Rucha, they have the damage. The Inkwo gang up. Looks over. Fly. They got the Aegis, so it's a full team wipe, but not, you know, Emo fully dead. Just the Aegis. Not sure what the plan there was. Like, rest of the team does not have blank dagger plus two abilities that can just close the gap. So he was caught pretty much alone, fed the dual damage to Legion Homelander, who's sitting at the 140 at the moment. Dyer's middle Maybe he thinks that he can't attack. die. You know, they have some abilities that can pierce through that Lincoln Sphere. Sven stun. They have Grimstroke abilities. Dyer's middle tower. Going on to that Sunday high ground. Up 7k. Like this game could just potentially end. They have no foil for 15. Doom is available. I have not seen Doom being used in a very long time. Every single time, VSG LGD, they get the first jump. They do not allow Doom to pop his ulti. Like one more good fight. 
and the game could just end because they have enough damage. Like this AC from Sven getting closer to level 25, Legion Commander the deals a ton of damage, getting closer to his Havoc's Halberd, so that's gonna be one way to deal with Troll, another way to Peter's oh, Lincoln Sphere. That was the quickest set of tier three and racks go down, I think I've seen in a long time. There's just so much damage. Uh, still no Philosopher's Stone, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. Shaman holding on to that Fairy's Trinket. Oh, Enchantress, she has it in the backpack. Like, you, you should get half gold if it's in the back. I'm just kidding. No, no, that sounds too broken. That's broken. It's just free <laughs> GPM. I don't want to hurt my damage, but I'd still like the gold. No, no, the item is uh, too good anyway. Should just be holding it all the time. This is a big lead here for LGD. It's a 10k gold lead that uh, feels like it's much more, but I want to see a fight where IG, when they get the first initiation, when they get a jump with the Doom, didn't happen for a very long time. What are they missing here? What's the big miss on, on IG right now? What, what do they need? Like, they need... Uh, Academy Center is done on fuck. Like, they need to be able to get on top of the Sven, before he can get the ulti off, I think uh, that's the play here. Because mm -hmm. there are saves. There is a dispel. You can't dispel Doom, of course, but uh, there is, like, press the attack that can keep him alive for a bit longer. The attack speed. Because if Sven gets the ulti off and starts hitting people with press the attack, uh, with solar crap. There you go. Nice. It's easy to call that one when the countdowns happen. Uh, so, 5-5. Five, five. Can he bring this back if he picks up the Satanic? He's been struggling a little bit. We saw him surrounded by about four heroes in the last fight. Bit of a struggle for him in that engagement when the rest of the team dies around him. JT frontlining, smoke broken. Oh dear. Roche may respawn in 30. Aegis, she's potentially an Ag's blessing. Which might be massive for IG if they are able to put their hands on it. Dire, they smoke themselves, trying to move forward. If they break the smoke, though, the ward is there, and now they've got the vision with the spirit coming through. Satanic couldn't be expected. They've got the Juniper on the two. They're going to get to the top. They're in on the Elder Titan. They'll go through. Five Fire Titan's going to get the Juniper. They've got the Juniper. They've got the Juniper. They've got the kill on a Fly Fly. And well, two heroes gone. No buyback on Emo or Fly Fly. Kaka dead, too. Ame with the triple kill. I would not be surprised if they just call it out. Like, at this point, we, we've seen IG. Like, Kaka, he calls GG's while they're, you know, being ravaged. It's not the first time, and there it is. A fly fly just says, you know, we've had enough of this game. Not that they can do. Third Roche would respawn. They would get the Chief Aegis plus one, and it would be.